Morning, yes, a lot of destruction, but now crews are in kind of the monitoring phase. There's been a lot of volunteer firefighters come out to battle this fire, but now again, they're in the monitoring phase. But I do want to show you a look at the scene. So where you see that uh, structure that's collapsed, so there's a little smoke rising. That's where it all started. When crews arrived, that home was collapsing. It was engulfed in flames, and then it caused all of the damage to the other houses. Several structures damaged here. Now the mayor, he's been on scene all morning long. He says that the fire does appear to be suspicious because no one lives here and none of these units have power. They're all under renovation. Crews were notified of the fire from residents nearby. Now again, 70 to 80 volunteer firefighters have been here, but again, some of them are have already been leaving, but certainly a big team effort to get this fire out. But something in the beginning that you need to be aware of, the assistant chief says that they had a manpower issue in the beginning of this. That was our biggest challenge. I know the first four or five units were two or three guys on them. So it's just just that's volunteer fire companies all over are having a problem. That's a struggle for us. But, you know, we, we may do with what we had and we got the job done. The assistant chief says there were no injuries, no firefighters injured. No one had to be evacuated again because no one lived in this home. And now it's turned into the hands of state police fire marshal investigating the cause of the fire.